First tonight at 6, even on summer break, safety is top of mind for local school districts. In Project Safe Schools tonight, a $100,000 grant is providing much needed safety upgrades to eight air public schools. I talked with the superintendent today about those new upgrades both in and outside of the classroom. It's a simple process that's adding a critical layer of security to eight air public schools. We have many outbuildings that our students have to travel to. Our, our, our buildings are not all under one roof, so security obviously is a huge concern for us. With two public streets running through campus and many buildings like Ag and Band across the parking lot, Superintendent Mark Lippy says they need a way to keep students more secure. You know, in today's world, there's many outside influences and any small steps we can take to help in that mission, it's a great advantage to our school and our students. The open path system allows students and staff to download an app which can open the locked back doors of the middle and high school campus. They have access to the buildings during the, during the school day and we can keep those doors locked. Superintendent Lippy says it could also improve their response in case of a lockdown. In the past, an employee would have to come to each one of these exterior doors and actually lock the door. Well now, with the push of a button, we can lock them all down, or well, they're locked all the time, but we could actually lock, technically go into a lockdown where none of the card readers would work. The superintendent told me the $100,000 grant from Google also provided these Promethean boards. They're touchscreen and will help teachers provide interactive lessons in the classroom. The superintendent says it's beneficial that grants paid for all of these upgrades. It allows us to protect our general fund dollars and now we can focus even more dollars into the classroom and it just provides more and more opportunities for our students. And for those students who don't have smartphones, the district will provide cards which can open those doors. The superintendent says a recently passed $17 million bond issue will allow them to continue to expand technology across the district.